Hi, it's Caitlin from Streets Ahead Style and I am here with my top polishes of 2020. Wow, um, we made it, I guess, kind of. It's the end of 2020. I know that, you know, the clock's not going to strike midnight and 2021 will magically, you know, make everything go away, but hopefully 2021 will bring some really great things I know it has been challenging for me, but there's also been some really great moments in 2020. One of them is starting YouTube. So <laughs> I just can't believe that I have like 600 and something people who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos. Thank you. And um, yes, I hope that all of you are doing as best as you can as we move into a new year. But this video is about nail polish. So let me tell you about the top 10 polishes that I wore in 2020. I had a hard time, but let's start in no particular order. Um, so this one was early on in the year. It's called Eternal Love from Paint It Pretty Polish. And everybody knows that I love like toppers. I love iridescence. I love flakies. I love that ethereal, magical, delicate look. So this topper definitely provides that. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I need to wear it again. I'm gonna say that probably about all of these. So I just won't say it. so pretty. And here we have Cirque Colors Ghost Rose, which is so pretty. It's also very delicate, very ethereal, very magical, very dainty. Kahalo, the shimmer, it's everything I love in a nail polish. And the formula is incredible. Oh my God, there is a cardinal literally sitting directly in front of me. Yeah, this is gorgeous and it is still available. So buy it if you don't already have it because you will love it. This one is called Replicated and it's from My Indie Polish and it's a really pretty lilac base with random glitters in it and I also am a big fan of glitters. I have loved seeing brands come back with like star glitters, heart glitters, chunky glitters. I want that to come back like full force. That's what got me into nail polish were these nail polish glitters and I just think they're the greatest thing ever. I really do love glitter so this polish has that glitter in it but it's also a crelly so it's not super in your face but i also love purple and this is a beautiful base so love that um and here we have paint it pretty polish get the party started i think sherry has done an incredible job this year with her nail polishes so i'm gonna give a shout out to sherry at paint it pretty polish you've been making the best nail polishes i am so honored to work with sherry and this one is probably one of my tops even though I had a hard time choosing which of Sherry's thermals I liked best but this one goes from pink to a dark purple as you can see in the photos and those flakes are just amazing it's a thermal I love this one I also really love Dimension Nails so I kind of fell in love with this brand and I don't think this polish came out this year it's been out for a while but Scarlet, Scarlet Peacock Butterfly is really beautiful it's red it kind of matches the cardinal that just came to my window I wish I could have captured that on film for you to see because clearly it was a special moment anyway um this red is incredible it's a one coater I love just red nails sometimes so this one is like a super fast easy manicure because it's one coat and the application is perfect so pick this up if you haven't already so this one is uh red eye blacker don't go dragging my high shoes and if you watched my favorites video from i think it was august this one like i just went on and gushed about it for like 10 minutes so this is pink with little black glitters and white shimmer it is incredible i need to find myself another one of these polishes it was limited edition but I need another one because it's that good. And here we have Femme Fatale Twinkle Sprinkle, which is a glitter topper. I love this polish so much. There's stars, there's circles, there's bars. It's holographic. I love it. It made me so happy. I just took it off and I didn't want to, but I love this polish so much. And sadly, it is no longer available. The three other polishes I don't have because either I borrowed them or I have loaned them out to friends. So the polishes that um, I don't actually have are, it's Great Lakes Lacquer, The Enabling Sisters, which is purple. Clearly I also have a thing for purple as much as I love pink. It's so beautiful, it's so shifty as you can see. I will link the live swatch video so you can watch it in action. I love that polish. I'm going to buy my own bottle because I did borrow it, but 
love, love, love that polish. The next one that I don't have with me is Girly Bits, I've Missed Seeing You. And I do have a live swatch of that, so I will link it, but it's really pretty. I love the jelly base. I really do love like sheer jelly bases and polishes lately. I've been wearing a lot of those. And the flakies are really pretty and like luminous. I don't know, it's just a really great vampy polish, but it's super unique in my collection and absolutely beautiful. So I had to include that one on my list. And the last one is Polished for Days Hitchhiking Ghosts, which if you're like in the nail community, you're gonna know that that polish was a huge hit this past year. I've seen people desperately looking for it. I'm very glad to have a bottle. We'll cherish that polish because it's so beautiful. It's so glowy. Um, I don't I don't know what to describe. It's one of those polishes that you need to see in person to believe how incredibly beautiful it is. But I included it in my October favorites video with good reason because it's an incredible polish. And I really hope that Polished for Days comes out with something similar-ish because it was limited edition. So yeah. Anyway, those are all the polishes that were in my top 10. There are tons of others that I could have included. It was hard to narrow it down, but 2020 was a great year for nail polish, that's for sure. So yeah, let me know in the comments which polishes made your personal list or if there's any you think I missed that I really should have had on here. I hope that you have a wonderful new year, safe, happy holidays, and um, thank you so much for being here. And yeah, hopefully I will continue making videos into the new year and I will see you back here for my next one. Take care, thank you again, and happy new year, yay, bye.